Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with the Jaspies 11 box Chasing the Cup Hockey Mixer, random team break number five. Uh, all teams are in except for the Kraken. All Kraken cards are randomized to one person at the end of the break. All card ship and some really nice boxes in this mixer. So now you're thinking, Joe, there's six breaks, uh, six boxes in the cup hockey case, right? So what happens with uh, random team number six? Problem is we, we don't have any more of these uh, certified diamond dealer exclusive black diamond boxes. So we're going to find an appropriate replacement for that. And then we'll post the, uh, the final uh, mixer, number six. But break five, box list is going to be just fine. Big thanks to this group for making it happen. Thanks to the people who bought their spots straight up. And congrats to the people who won their spots in that clear-cut filler break. So let's take out the Kraken for now. So there'll be 31 on each list. Let's roll it, randomize it. Two and a one. Three times for names and teams. One, two, and three. We got Corey down to John. Two and a one, three times for teams. Two and three. After three, you got the Golden Knights, the Vegas Golden Knights down to the Florida Panthers. All right, Corey, you got the Vegas Golden Knights, Jake, Canadians, and Flames. Corey with the Wild, Sean with the Red Wings, Todd with the Blues, Rob with the Flyers, Nick with the Maple Leaves, Jake with the Rangers, Gerald with the Predators, Jake with the Bruins, Brian with the Stars, Sean with the Devils and the Canucks, Jake with the Kings, Gerald with the Penguins and Coyotes, Rob with the Islanders, Nick with the Avs and Oilers, Alan with the Senators, Last Spot Mojo, Billy, you got the Lightning, Rob with the Capitals and Hurricanes, Jake with the Ducks, Corey with the Blackhawks, Jake with the Sabres and Sharks, Gerald with the Blue Jackets, Billy with the Jets, and John with the Florida Panthers. It's alphabetized by team. We're going to pause the video just for a little bit. When we come back, we're going to see if there's any trades, and then we'll have the break. Stick around. Be right back. All right, welcome back, everybody. No deals were done. A little bit of trade chatter, but in the end, no deals were done here in our 11 box Chasing the Cup Hockey Mixer. Thanks everybody for getting into the action one way or the other. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 10, 11. All right, so we'll start with the base heavier stuff first. For this, we're looking for the occasional autograph, but jambalaya, maybe a nice PMG would be nice. Good luck. What's going on in the NHL today? Do we have any any finals? No, I don't think we have any. Do we have any final scores today? We do not, but we've got a few games in progress. Rangers, two minutes left in the second period. Rangers are in Philadelphia. Flyers are up 2-1. We have uh, Lofton and Tippett are your Flyers goal scorers. And Zabenyad is your Rangers goal scorer. He has 32 goals this season. At the end of the first period, uh, Maple Leafs are in Edmonton. Oilers putting three across in the first period. Connor McDavid with two goals already. He's at 52 goals. And Hyman with a goal as well. Kampf is your goal scorer for the Maple Leafs. Six minutes left in the first. Uh, Arizona Coyotes, the 21 and 30, 21, 30, and nine Coyotes are up two nil, two nothing on the 31, 16, and 13 Dallas Stars, believe it or not. Keller and Hayton are your goal scorers. Devils and Avs uh, facing off. They should be starting soon. Capitals are in Anaheim, and the Hurricanes are in uh, in Vegas, which was actually, oh no, I thought Senators were playing. No. Alan Murdoch had Senators, Hurricanes were straight no. Hurricanes holding Knights. Yeah, that Connor McDonald, I don't know much about hockey, I'll be honest with you guys. But what I do know is that Connor McDavid is, uh, is pretty good. 
There he is right there. He's pretty good at, at this game. I remember he's cracking cards. We will randomize to one person the break at the end. Pitter Patter, Austin Watson. Oh, there's a PMG right there. That's what we're looking for specifically in these skybox boxes. And it is Braden Point, PMG. Popcorn chicken. From Popeyes? No, it says it's called a uh, Jack in the Box. They have popcorn chicken there? Yeah, it says popcorn 100 chicken. out of 100. Precious metal gems. Connor McDavid already has two goals in the first period, Jason Gatsby. Yeah, it don't matter anyone and shit. He's going to score all these goals and shit. That I go with. Oh, I know. I was just going to say, like, that's like the next step for Connor McDavid. He's got to win something. If he, you know, if he wants to start cementing well, himself dude, amongst. What's so crazy is that Connor McDavid can have two goals, three assists, and then they're going to lose five to six. Oh, brutal. <laughs> brutal. It's, you know, it's like sad. I know, yeah. I mean, but still, it's crazy. That just means that they give up that many goals. That's not good. You think Connor McDavid stays in Edmonton? Yeah, he signed a pretty long term deal. I don't know if he's moving anywhere. Unless he just. Unless there's like a NBA's in is like I'm, I want to be out. This could be like a you know Gretzky to the Kings again. <laughs> yeah. No, Scenario. <laughs> Matthews has a chance to leave because this contract's up in two years and I get it. Ooh. Ooh. Yeti. Yeti. I don't think SGA is playing for it. His hip is banged up. No LeBron, no D'Angelo, no. Uh, I don't Anthony have an Davis. Why not Anthony Davis? Cause... He's not injured, is he? <laughs> had to mute that. Had to mute that. He's got a foot issue that apparently flared up. Yeah. See you, Michael. Or maybe he just saw. Yeah. Or he he saw he saw that LeBron's out, D'Angelo Russell's out, so he's like, forget it. I'm out too. He's like, if they get a day off, I get a day off. Yeah, I'm gonna get it. Is, does Austin Matthews have a chance at going to the Kings? I, I think he's going to come here. Really? The Kings don't have enough money to pay him. Uh, uh, I, I think I think it all depends on how successful the Toronto is the next two years. I mean, I, I, I want to say he wants to stay in Toronto, but I mean, imagine if you lose again in the first round for like the eighth straight time and right. nothing happens. I think it's either staying in Toronto, going to LA, or going to Phoenix. Wow. He's from Phoenix. That's right. He was, he was born in California, but he's from Phoenix. Grew up in Phoenix, but, yeah. Um, I really think that there's a really, really good chance for that, though. You know, guys like Kopitar aren't getting younger. So those guys, you know? yeah, they'll, they'll all be gone by then. But then... Years, probably. Well, Kopitar might still be playing, but he won't be the top guy no more. Right. I mean, he's not going to be playing all those minutes. Yeah. So for sure. But, I, like, I, if, if these Kings young guys kind of grow up yeah. a little bit, really and then you've got... I really believe it's between Arizona and LA, honestly. He loves LA. And Nick Galvin saying... He's coming home to AZ. I think that's the best story, but I don't know. That would be a good story. Give a little boost to that that, that organization. Got Planet Metal die cut. There's Quentin Byfield. Yeah, I would, I would love to see. Oh, is that Nick G? I was actually at the Dairy Queen near your house the other day. Oh, there you go, <laughs> Nick. I remember one time we were talking about it and I stalked him. I was like, dude, Derek Queen's like so close to my in-laws. <laughs> yeah, you know what? We got to do like a Jaspi meetup in Phoenix because I feel yeah, like we got a lot of people. Fun. We got a lot of people in Phoenix that, that buy from us, that collect with us. Ooh, is that another PMG? I think nice. so. 
Is that green? We, we got a red ten. one. Is that 10? Is that a 10 10? And then a green PMG Anders Lee. Nice. To 100. Oh, the 100. Well, Double O four out of 100. I want to say those are out of 10, though, because usually I think they're all numbered at 100, but but uh, they're specifically like they only make 10 greens. Hmm. So uh, that'll go to the Islanders. Rob with the Islanders. Oh, Nixon Mesa now. That's okay. I was at the Texas Roadhouse in Mesa. <laughs> Wait, where is Vanessa's parents at? They're in Santan Valley, so they're like really down below. Oh, okay. Uh, that's like a newer city. Well, it's been around for a while, but developing. They're if this is like, houses. if this is Phoenix, Mesa's here, right? Yeah, so it's like Gilbert, South, uh, Mesa, yeah. and then like you go down to Creek. And then gotcha. And the in-laws are yeah, like down Santan. there. Okay. Yeah. So how how far to downtown? I, it takes like an probably an hour. Oh, okay. Honestly, so it's, it's a little only, ways. only because Santa doesn't have a freeway all the way down. Off gotcha. the 202, so it takes a while gotcha. just because of all the lights. I have friends. But in they're building in Scottsdale. That's yeah, yeah. Here. They're building an extension. Those. Well, I think it's. I don't know if it's over yet, but but yeah, it's really it's nice area. It's just it's just all new. Yeah, Joe Pills is in Mesa, so he's like, when I went to, we went to Texas Roadhouse right there, near Nick's, where he lives now, and then uh, Joe P was like maybe 10 minutes away. Where is Diego's? Diego's, I think, like, in actual, like, up there, like, near Phoenix. I think he's up there in that area. Phoenix proper, okay. I mean, thankfully, it's not, like, LA traffic, so. That's true. If it's an hour, it's actually, like, 50 miles. (laughs) Yeah, right, right, right. It's like that, you know, instead of, like, 50 miles, which means, like, two hours. It's not, like... Yeah. All right. Yeah, maybe a maybe a Jaspi meetup in Phoenix might have to be in order. Card was caught in the uh, the printing machine. You can see the the seams right there for the the cards. If one kind of shakes loose and then it goes ka-chunk. So sorry, apologies to David Pasternak, Boston Bruins, Jake Smith. Yeah, we'll send that off to you. Take a look at some odds here. Uh, Stanley Cup odds. The Bruins have to be the favorites, right? Wow. So um, Bruins are about plus 500, about 5 to 1. I think that's the best number you can get. BetMGM has them at plus 475. DraftKings as well. FanDuel has them at plus 500. Did they really open at plus 2,500 hockey fans? That's what it says on this website, covers.com, which I think is pretty credible. They're saying they opened at 25 to 1. Is this completely unexpected? This Bruins, I mean, that's what it seems like, according to the odds, if I'm reading this right. Did no one expect the Boston Bruins to come out firing like this? Because 25 to 1, that's pretty long. As opposed to, say, like Colorado is plus, open plus 500, and they're still at plus 650. Uh, 650. So they didn't really move too much. Wow, so yeah, Terry's saying they, just, they didn't expect them to be this good. Yeah. Wow. So there's, there's, there's probably... Big hockey guy thought they were actually going to have a down year. And uh, and Todd's a fan of the Bruins. Same players, but new coach. 
Is the new is, is that the difference? Is the new coach doing is that that's the trick? Is that did the trick? That looks pretty I don't know how short print this is, but it looks pretty cool. That's crazy. That's gonna help remind me to do the crack and randomize it a little bit later. At the end of the break. And that pitter patters to ninety nine. So now, what are so for Bruins fans? What are the is it are the expectations changed now? Like, is it now Stanley Cup appearance or bust? And you know, there's you know there's someone who has you know who put a hundred bucks for uh, the Bruins Stanley Cup champions at plus twenty five hundred. That person's excited. What's up, Rex? What's going on? That person's happy. All right. That's true then. Good point, Terry. Yeah, it's Boston. They, they want to win everything every year. All the time. City of Champions. Isn't that funny? City of Champions, right? There are kids that have grown up, that were born, raised Boston sports fans, that all they know is winning. But their parents and grandparents grew up just with a history of losing. Isn't that wild to think about? I guess except for basketball. I guess Celtics in, in the 90s. All right, thanks, Evan. See you, man. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Sort out the numbered cards first. It could be the occasional autograph in here. And there's the autograph. All right, we got uh, Lacey Thompson. Lassie Thompson? 79 out of 99, Ottawa Senators, Alan Murdoch tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo, last bought Mojo. There you go, Alan. All right, and we got a bunch of numbered cards here. There's Yegor to Columbus. That will be for Gerald. A couple flyers here. Cam Atkinson and Eric Lindros. Remember, I remember him. Goes to Philadelphia, that'll be for Rob. Here's Patrick Kane to 199. Chicago, not there anymore, right? Corey. Zegras to 899 for the Ducks, that'll be for Jake. Another duck here. Zegras again, that's to 999. Here's Alex Barboulette for the Lightning to 175. Billy with Tampa Bay. Shersterkin to 999 for the Rangers. That's gonna go to Jake, Jordan Everly for the Kraken to 749. And then there is Troy Terry, Ducks to 199. Jake. All right. Another one here. Big hockey guy is saying when Poppy, when Big Poppy retired, my youngest son, maybe 20 at the time, said, I don't even know the socks without without Poppy. That kind of blew your mind, yeah. Yeah, where did where did Patrick Kane end up going? Yes, Rex, I do remember. We we're talking a little D and D, and you recalled a game called Merp. Oh, it stands for Middle Earth Role Playing. 
I see. So I can be Gandalf. Rangers. All right, Nick, Nick and Terry, Rangers. So Rangers open the season at plus 2,000 to win the Stanley Cup. Now they're down to plus 1,200. I wonder if that's before or after. I think these... When did that trade go down? Oh, okay. So it was plus 1,200, but some books have them at plus 700 after, uh, after getting Patrick Kane. So definitely an upgrade on the odds there. Like these old Kings jerseys. Yeah, Jodolf, the breaker of cards. You shall not break. You shall not break. Until I smote his ruin on the mountainside. Fool of a tongue. All right, so a bunch of numbered cards here. You can see them here. They're all going to your respective teams. We've got one more box of this synergy. And then we'll get into SP Game Use, Black Diamond. Then we'll close with the cup. You shall not pass. Do the rain, they got Tarasenko as well, as Nick Galvin saying. Do, do they need the help? Aren't they, aren't they playing pretty well already? I guess they're only one, two, three, four, five, six in the East. Yeah, no one. Uh, I wore a Star Wars shirt and everything. No, no one. No one talked Mandalorian. Yet. I was happy with the first episode. They're setting up a lot of things. Very, very much a set up episode. But they've set up a lot of interesting, interesting things. So I'm looking forward to another season. Apparently, they're writing a fourth season already. Hopefully, hopefully they'll cap it at like maybe. Four or five seasons, just to keep it a real, real nice, nice tight show. Would be awesome. There's a Dougie Hamilton. Teach me how to Dougie Hamilton. The musical. That'll be for the New Jersey Devils. That's going to be for Sean. Jake Gunsell for the Penguins. It's going to go to Gerald. Panther going to John. Nashville, that's for Gerald. Brady Kachuk for Ottawa. Allen. Golden Knights. Corey. Ducks. Jake. Flyers, that's going to be... Rob, these are both stars. That's going to be for Brian and a lightning for Billy.
Ah, so Mike's saying they got Tarasenko a week or so ago, and at the time, Kane was sad because it meant he wouldn't have a spot with the Rangers. But then the New York Rangers said, why not both? Is Kane having a, is Patrick Kane having a good season? Oh, he's only played 16 games this season. Has he injured? Injured? <laughs> yeah, the Mandalorian avoided jumping the shark because they started with uh, with a baby in the show. There's Alexander Holtz to 999. Here is uh, your third selection for the Ducks. Mason McTavish to 999 and Jake Neighbors, authentic rookies autograph for St. Louis. Wasn't that, that, that might be, that's for Todd. That might be tried to trade, couldn't trade Mojo. Nice. Maybe a randomizer. And here is a dual relic, two color dual relic, Roman Yossi for the Preds. That's for Nashville, right? Yeah. Gerald. All right. There you go. That's big hockey guy in the chat. There you go, Todd. It happens. It happens. All right. Spartan saying Kane will go down as one of the all-time greats when he eventually retires. He's been in the NHL since 2007, spent 15 years in Chicago. And won three cups. For Boston, here's Jeremy Swayman. And we got a jersey and auto, Ivan Pros Prosevtov. Prosevtov, authentic rookies. Fifty-nine out of ninety-nine. That'll be for Jake Smith. No, check that Gerald in Arizona. Sorry. So he's having Arizona on top of most team lists. And there's Victor Hedman to seventy-seven for the Lightning. We've got another relic here. One eighty-seven out of two forty-nine. Spencer Knight for the Panthers. John has Florida. And then another, yeah, and a dual relic, Quinn Hughes. Jack's brother. Oh, the top loader wanted to hit the bell. Top loader was happy about, about Quinn Hughes. Vancouver, that'll be for Sean. And Jan Yenick, another one for Gerald in Arizona. All right, one more SP Authentic. Then... Black time. The material is weird on this. It feels almost like a like a like one of those Tyvek bags you get at the post office or something like that. Oh, it's a relic on the bottom. Here's Justin Richards to 999 for the Rangers. And there's Alexander Holt revealing a jersey and autograph, Philip Grubauer. That's for Seattle. Seattle's not on this list, so that's gonna be part of the randomizer along with those other cards. So one person will get all those Kraken cards. Here's a purity to 35. Cole Perfetti for Winnipeg. It's going to go to Billy. Then we got a couple things. There's Miro Heiskanen, dual relic. For Dallas, that's going to be for Brian. Yeah. 
And we got Ryan O'Reilly, embroidered in history. Rhino. For the Blues. I guess that's why they call it the Blues. That is uh, for Todd, big hockey guy. And then there's Matthew uh, Barzal. Banner year relic. For the Islanders, Rob with the Islanders. Here's to 25, that's Alexander Holtz, New Jersey. That'll be for Sean. All right, Black Diamond, Certified Diamond Dealer Exclusive. Fancy. Got, it'll be like an exquisite card and another base card on the bottom, but let's just work through this one at a time. Here's Pavelski to 349, Dallas, Brian. Ooh, wow. Trevor Zegras, 82 out of 99, triple diamond. Ooh. Who's got the Ducks? Jake Smith with the Anaheim Ducks. There you go, Jake. Nice triple. We got a rookie team logo jumbos. The train whistles are for out of fives and under, card shark. But we'll give you the the bell. Here's Moritz Sider, Detroit, Sean. We got Black Diamond, Diamond Debut Relics, Zach Jones. Not Mac Jones, but Zach Jones. Rangers, that's going to be for Jake. To 249, we've got Vaseli Podolskin. For Vancouver, that'll be for Sean. We've got the exquisite Shane Pinto for the Senders. That's for Ottawa. That's for Allen. And there's Ross Colton right there, rookie gems for Tampa Bay. Billy with the Rays. All right. This is what we were chasing right here. We reached it. The Cup Hockey. Good luck. This is what we were working towards. I can open this box. There we go. Gerald, you just want one card? I think you are going to get at least one card. I think the Coyotes had a card earlier. Or are you saying you want one card out of the cup? Careful with these cards. All right, good luck, everybody. Right off the top, 241 out of 249, Sidney Crosby. Gerald with the Penguins.
We got Niles Hoglander, 232 out of 249, rookie auto patch. That's a wrap. RAP for Vancouver. That's going to be for Sean and the Canucks. And we've got Sam Reinhart, three color patch and autograph, 69 out of 99 for the Sabres. Buffalo! It goes to Jake and the Sabres. Buffalo gold. I like the little gold trim right there. I like the slot machine. Buffalo! We got Anders Lee, 28 out of 99. Enshrinement autograph for the New York Islanders. It's going to go to Rob. And I think maybe a couple relics to close things out. We got a quad relic, all capitals. Nicholas Backstrom, Evgeny Kusinov, John Carlson, and Alex Ovechkin. Double, uh, 04 out of 25. 4 out of 25 going to Rob and Washington. And the last one here, Wayne Gretzky. All time alums, Kings Edition, 105 out of 249. The great one. Going to Jake and the LA Kings. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Thanks for watching. Thanks for breaking with us. Let's see where all these uh, cracking cards are going to go. So everyone's going to get a shot at it. Let's go to the list. Let's grab everyone 1 through 31. And let's roll it and randomize it. 5 and a 1. 6 times. Name on top after 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and a 1. Sixth and final time. Congrats to, very close Jake, but congrats to Jake. No, there was no, no doubt about it, Jake. There you go, Jake. You get the uh, extra Kraken cards, including uh, this Philip Grubauer jersey and autograph from SP Game Use. That is to 65. Thank you. Thanks, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next one. Bye-bye.